In this video, I'll be going over the operations of a Forester Class C motorhome and rental. On the driver's side, your first compartment is your generator. When you flip up the lid, you'll see your generator inside. You have an on and off start switch on the outside as, long, as well as on the inside. Uh, you do not have to come outside to start your generator. Uh, big tip on the generator, do not start the generator with any appliances running. If your air is on, shut the air off first and then start the generator. You'll want to let the generator run for three to five minutes before putting any power to the generator. The next compartment next to that is just storage and the one behind it. This door is the outside of the hot water tank. Uh, no switches on the outside of this one. They're all located on the inside. This is gasoline only, not a diesel. Right here you have an outside shower. You're going to have hot and cold water on the outside with a small shower hose in case you need to clean off your feet. Located to the right is a fresh water fill. You'll remove the cap, insert your hose, and fill your tank if you need to take water with you. If you do not need to take water with you, you're going to hook directly to city water by simply pulling off the cap, hooking your water, and turning the pressure on. Above your city water is just a coax hookup for cable TV. Thread on your coax, do a channel scan on the TV for cable. Above that is your 30 amp 110 plug-in. This is a detachable cord. This one comes with a 25 foot power cord, which is also supplied with a 30 amp adapter if you do not have a 30 amp plug. Down below, you have your black and gray tank drain. Uh, this one, you have a hole in the floor to allow you to put the hose down through. Then you'll connect your hose. You always want to do the black tank on the left first. That is your black water, your toilet water. Then you have the gray, which is sink and shower. That, that gray will allow you to clean out the inside of your sewer hose. And you're also supplied with a 25 foot water hose with a regulator on the end of it. The very back side compartment is just storage. You have a table in here with fold out legs if you want to use the table and lighting inside if you need it as well. On the back side of the unit you'll see you have a reverse camera. This will operate from inside. On the door side of the camper you have a lot of storage. The first three compartments are only storage. This unit's equipped with the power awning push button on the inside. Uh, if you look inside the door, you have an awning extend and retract. Once you get the awning extended, you're going to want to come out. You have an adjustment here which will allow you to pull in on the awning arm and tilt the awning for rain to go off to one side. This panel next to the door is the refrigerator. This is only for maintenance, nothing to worry about. And then right below you're going to have a uh, furnace vent. This gets very hot, do not touch it if the furnace is running. Outside you have awning lights, porch light, these all operated from the inside. On the back side of the door is more storage. Next to that is your propane tank which will be full upon picking up your unit. And then right above that is an outside entertainment system with a CD player. And that's all for the outside. Walking in, right where that awning switch was, you have a battery disconnect. This should be on the entire time that you are renting this unit. Next to that is light switches. You have porch light, awning light, aisle light, and living room light for the inside of the unit. Inside, you have a table that will fold down to make a bed. If you look under the table, there's a lever. Pull down and release, and then push your table in the down position and put your cushions on top. The couch behind is a scissor couch. Just pick up on the bottom, pull it out, it'll turn into a bed. In the very front of the unit, you're going to have a nice big TV with a remote. Um, you can do your channel programming here. This will allow you to get your local channels for free. On the very front of this unit, in the cab, it's just like any other van. 
The only nice thing up here is you have a reverse camera. Uh, all you'll need to do with this, if you're in reverse, it comes on automatically. If not, you can come down here to the bottom right hand corner and turn this on. This is your rear view mirror. You will want to bring back any motor home with uh, full tank of fuel or whatever is in it whenever you took it from the lot. Back in the kitchen area, your microwave is electric only. If you are not plugged in, your microwave will not operate. Light and fan for the stove here. Top of the stove has an igniter for the top half. You just turn on the gas valve and ignite your flame. In the bottom, you have to light your pilot light manually. You're going to go back eight inches underneath on the right hand side of your tube. Turn your knob to pilot, push it in, and light your flame. Once you light your flame, hold it in for an additional 10 seconds, then turn to the on position to ignite your whole tube. On the other side of the kitchen, you have your nice big monitor panel here. This should give you an empty to full reading for your propane, your battery, your fresh, your black, and your gray tank. You're just going to want to push to see your levels. Battery's full, fresh is two-thirds full, and so on. Here's a way to start your generator from the inside. You'll see here it says stop slash prime. You will want to hold down on stop to prime the motor until the red light comes on. Once the red light comes on, you're ready to start your generator. If you do not have more than a quarter of a tank in the motorhome, your generator will not start. The switch is below. Electric for the hot water tank. Just flip it on. Gas, you're going to turn it on. Wait for the light to turn off up top. It lights automatically. You have a water pump for your fresh tank. Turn it on if you're using the tank. The Arctic pack is for the underbelly tanks. If it is cold outside, you'll want to use this so you don't freeze up. Living room light and kitchen light are just interior switches. This switch here is for the outside light on the off door side. And then you have your main switch for the big slide right here. You also have a secondary switch back in the hallway for the rear slide out. Refrigerator works automatically, gas or electric. I have this button depressed. Also, this is depressed, putting me on auto. If you're plugged in, it's electric. If you're unplugged, it's gas. You have a TV in the back. You can also program this for local channels with a radio and DVD player below. Bunk in the back that folds up to give you headroom for the couch below too. You just want to pin into the wall to keep this thing up. I would not suggest traveling this way because this thing will bounce going down the road. In the bathroom, shower door, you got a shower latch for travel. Make sure you use the latch. Flip this open. You're going to have a button on the shower head to conserve your hot water. Get in, rinse off, shut off the water, get soapy, and then turn it back on to rinse back off again. In the cabinet, we supply you with two toilet paper rolls, two drop tablets for the black tank. Toilet operation is foot pedal. You will push halfway down for water, all the way down to flush. Fill it back up when you're done to keep the smell down in the tank. On the wall right outside, you have a digital thermostat. This will work your air conditioner. One button to select between fan, cool, and furnace, and then plus or minus for your temperature setting. Below that is a slide out switch for the rear room. And then two light switches, one for the hallway, one for the bedroom. Last thing is your rear bedroom, mostly sleeping and storage. And that is all.